Thanks, Michael. Yes, we'll talk about basketball now because the Melbourne Boomers need to win this weekend in WNBL to make the playoffs. So they also need Sydney University and the Canberra Capitals to lose. It's been an exciting time for our next two guests. Not only are they striving to make the playoffs, they've both been contracted by WNBA teams and they're headed to make their living perhaps in the world's top competition. Good morning to Tess Magin and Rebecca Allen. Good morning. Tess, I'll start with you. Uh, exciting that you've been contracted to the Phoenix Mercury, which is a bit of a home away from home for Australian basketballers these days. Tell us about the contract and what you have to do to, to make the final roster. Yep, so I go over um, at the end of May for the training camp and then um, I have to compete against all the other girls that will be on the team or vying for a spot on that team. So I'm not definitely, um, you know, going to be playing in the WNBA but go to the tra training camp and give it my best shot. Yeah, that's a great um, leap for you to take. Yeah. And uh, so how competitive, how tough is that going to be? Um, Sandy Brondello is the Australian coach, so you, I guess you'll, you'll feel among friends but it must be um, super competitive. Yeah, it will be very competitive. Obviously, you're playing against the best people in the world in the WNBA. So I'm very excited for the opportunity and definitely very excited to be coached by Sandy Brondello, who is an Australian great and played my position. So I think I can learn a lot from her. Terrific. And uh, Rebecca, you've uh, been signed to the New York Liberty and uh, you're straight on the, on the roster. So um, they're talking about you being uh, central to their plans. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels great. You know, I like that I'm in a position where I feel like I've got a spot where I can play some minutes as well. So I feel like I'm, I'm really excited about this next challenge and it is going to be hard work, you know, so I think it's going to be great for me. Tell us about the, your last 12 months. Um, you're still very young. Uh, you've uh, played a key part now in the, in the Opals team. Uh, I guess the World Championship helped um, show the world what you can do. Uh, it's been, a, has it seemed to you to be a, a really fast rise? It's been a fast rise, it's been a bit of a surreal year, um, but I'm happy to continue that progression up, like I don't really want to plateau, so I think that going to the WNBA is a really good step for that, as Tess said, we're playing against some of the best in the world, so I mean going there is only going to make it a better opportunity for you making the, you know, the Australian team for the Olympics. And uh, what else are you excited about going to New York? You play at Madison Square Garden, of course. So you you've just got, named uh, uh, the uh, most uh, exciting <laughs> thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. And you know, being in New York is going to be a pretty amazing thing. And Tess, uh, tell us about um, the time for Australian basketball. I think there might be eight players at the WNBL uh, heading over to, um, to at least try out or be part of the WNBA. It's, uh, the boom times continue for, for the Opals. Yeah, it is very exciting. There is eight Australians at the moment um, currently going over there to either be on a team or try and make a team at training camp. So, you know, it's really positive signs for women's basketball in, in Australia at the moment. And Rebecca, um, the team this weekend, you've, you need to win and have two other teams lose. Is that as simple as it, as it can be for you? As, it's as simple as you can make it, really. You know, yep. we've really got to focus on ourselves. Um, as we said, no matter how the other two teams go, we're going to go there to win. So, I mean, that's our aim, and I think that's just how we're going to have to look at it and approach the game. And just finally, Tess, um, it's the first time I've spoken um, to anyone from the WNBL since that announcement, the ABC, when it was making its cuts, that they're not going to have those live matches next year. How does that affect your, your team and your, your sport generally? Yeah, well, it is very disappointing. We have probably the strongest league we've ever had this year um, in the WNBL, and it's a real showcase of women's sport. Um, so not to have that on TV is very disappointing. Yeah, OK, yeah. We'll, we'll wait to see what happens with that yeah, next crossed. year. In between times, um, good luck in the, the US and, uh, and hope you make the playoffs as well. Thank, Thank you very you. much.